what is fair trade? So many Lao people did not know about that. And so now we, I am the volunteer to work on promote about fair trade, uh, to promote uh, to the Lao people and promote to the company that uh, they have to think about fair trade that for their business. This is what I do. And um, last year, since last year, we have been very busy setting up the structure, a working structure with a team of volunteers, because we are all volunteers at the moment. So we have about 10 companies in Laos, like a Saoban and like a Disabled Women and uh, Mate Sai shop or another shop in Laos, about 10 now. Uh, we just realized that um, a lot of people talk about fair trade religious products, but uh, there's no real you know, standard behind it. And um, there's a lot of uh, shops still at the moment that say, okay, this is village food products, but you don't know really how they, they buy. You know, the, the, there is no documentation on the value chain. What, when, when I learned to do the business with the villages and helping the villages on selling, I know that now the people, many people, the number of the people, they are want to help another people, it's more and they care about that one more. About 80% that I met the people in the shop, that they are thinking, oh, it's fair trade, that I want to help. And they never ask for this cow, and they want to help, really. The duty we want, uh, things we want to do, uh, is to raise awareness uh, among Lao consumers about fair trade issue. And, um, and then the second, the, the second level is uh, to, uh, to get as many members as possible from businesses, local businesses? I think in about five years, I think many shops in Laos, we have the fair trade logos and follow the fair trade principle. And many shops, like uh, many villages in Laos, not only uh, doing the right field, so they will have their own brand name, they will have their own business. In I'm really sure about it. So in about five years, ten years.